Hello guys, so welcome to free UT tutorial channel and today we are going to learn how to create the fade in fade out effect for the UI images so it will look like this when this is the fade out effect and this is fade in ok so this is the very simple setting here we can add multiple images at the same time like here uh, I have added 4 images and if I remove one images like this uh, and now you can see only three images will affected by the function like this and uh, for adding more images we just need to uh, set the length of the uh, list and then just drag and drop image to here and it will uh, it will start functioning okay like this so we can also adjust the speed of the fade in fade out so i'm just uh, make it two like this here we can control the speed Okay, so without waste of time, we are going to start it. So create a new project. So uh, yeah, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and please like the video and share my video with your friends or other Unity developers ok so here is our project now I am going to create a canvas ok so let's select the camera and uh, in the UI scale mode to uh, scale with the screen size now just drag and drop your camera to render camera Okay, so that is the thing. Now I'm going to create a one image. Okay, and now I'm going to import. I have already uh, just opened two images from Google. So one, and this is the other one here. Select both of the image and uh, texture type to uh, sprite UI to and 2D. Okay, now select the one image and assign it to source image. Okay. Okay, and also create a button for fade in fade out. You can put uh, put the button in on the screen anywhere you want. Okay, so now I'm going to add a script on the canvas UI controls I'm going to uh, open the script in the Visual Studio Okay, so first of thing we are going to write using unity engine dot UI. Then we are going to create a public list of image. Name it. 
images ui images like this okay also create one public variable like a public float for speed by default it will be one okay so now going to delete all these two and here i'm going to create a new illuminator and name it fade in okay now i'm going to create here one float value for alpha and it will be uh, like ui images zero dot color dot a a for alpha okay and here i'm going to create a for loop and i equal to zero and i is less than ui images dot count okay and uh, here we are going to assign the value of alpha to every image dot color should be a uh, new color so and alpha okay but it will not work because we need to assign the uh, current value of uh, uh, rgb so i dot color dot r b now here should be green and here is blue ok like uh, RGB ok so uh, now I am going to manipulate the value of so uh, alpha so we just try we also hit a while loop while alpha is less than 1 then this loop should go on and here we put a yield return null ok and now we need to increase the value of alpha like this alpha plus equal to time dot delta time for smooth transition and also we are going to multiply it by speed ok so yeah this is done and now here we are going to create one more function so public void fade in button like this and here we go to start coroutine for fade in ok so now I am going to check whether it is working or not so just uh, wait for compiling the script first thing we need to assign the image 1 set the speed 1 to default make it uh, transparent first select the button and at the on click event drag and drop your canvas here or where you have put the script and uh, here you will find the function for fade in button function ok now hit the start button and check whether it is working or not 
so when you click on fade in it is working okay so now go to your uh, script now we are going to create a fade out function so just copy this uh, enumerator fade in and paste it here rename it to fade out and change this value to greater than 0 this should be in minus yeah and you are done with the thing now no need to change anything and now in this function we are just going to check the value of a uh, uh, ui image color uh, ui image alpha so if it is uh, greater than 0.5f then we will run the fade in function otherwise or else we will run the fade out function so start coroutine fade out ok and just uh, try whether it is working or not Okay, so uh, you can see currently it is not working like this. So just open the script and switch these two functions like fade in here and fade out when it is greater than 0.5f. Now just wait for compiling the script. Now let's try whether it is working or not. Okay, so now it's the start working. And now when uh, you need to uh, add the more images, so just duplicate the images here and like this. you can uh, add multiple images uh, as much as you want uh, there's no limitation you just need to add here in the list like this and when you click on the play button and click on the button for fade and fade out so they will automatically start uh, appearing and disappearing okay so I hope you like this tutorial and thank you so much for watching the tutorial and, and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon for notifications. Thank you. Thank you so much guys.